Welcome, we're down here at Mikasa Bay area of Hamilton Harbour and this is the area where the uh, Hamilton Police Marine Unit is now based out of. We'd like to show you a little bit about, more about the Marine Unit today and what we do. We've moved uh, now as part of the city's waterfront development. This new location affords us uh, an ability to get in and out of where we are without having to travel through a marina and other boats. We have direct access to the harbour and our base is right here on the water. Um, so that's a benefit to us as well. On a day-to-day -day basis, the Marine Unit uh, is out there patrolling the waters of Hamilton Harbour and Lake Ontario. Uh, we have about a 350 square kilometer area that we cover. So we proactively patrol that area that has various boat launches and marinas that we are visiting. We're stopping boaters, making sure they have all their necessary safety equipment, checking for issues of impaired boating and responding to uh, mayday or distress calls. Those can come through 911 or through uh, Marine VHF radio. So in the winter months when we don't have a, our boats on the water uh, and the, the harbor's freezing up, we're responsible for ice rescue in the city of Hamilton. That could be in Hamilton Harbour, on the shores of Lake Ontario, or any of the bodies of water within the city and conservation areas. Uh, so we train for those ice rescue incidents and if they occur, we respond to those. Outside of that, we're uh, part of the support services and traffic services branch, so we are uh, doing proactive uh, traffic enforcement in those winter months as well. Hamilton Harbour is seeing a lot of growth and we're working in the busiest uh, commercial port on the Canadian side of the Great Lakes. Uh, so not only do we have a mix of uh, commercial large ship traffic, uh, we also have uh, various uh, pleasure craft. And each year we seem to be seeing more people coming out, uh, not only from the local marinas, but also people visiting and coming out to, to our boat launches and enjoying the waters in Hamilton Harbour. Uh, in terms of uh, conditions that we go out in, um, we work on the water 365 days a year. So as long as our boats are on the water, um, we've been out in ice, freezing spray. We've been out in below zero temperatures, um, right up to you know uh, plus 30 temperatures. And we've gone out in conditions of up to 100 kilometer an hour winds and waves up to 15 feet uh, in uh, Lake Ontario. Some people don't realize uh, the Great Lakes, uh, how rough they can get. Um, and so we, uh, some of the stuff we want to remind people of is the conditions we go out and you want to check the weather before you go out and always wear your life jacket and make sure you're boating sober. Well, this year we, we got a new boat uh, that was added to our fleet. It's a 12 meter interceptor uh, built by Metalcraft Marine right out of Kingston, Ontario. Uh, this new boat is truly a multi-purpose uh, uh, vessel. Uh, it's great for uh, fast response to incidents, for rescues. This boat was uh, custom uh, built for Hamilton Police. Uh, and this is going to serve the city of Hamilton very well and help keep our uh, citizens and boaters safe. Um, as you can see here, it's a, a metal, aluminum hulled uh, boat with a fully enclosed cabin. Um, this has been thought out to be very functionally built um, so that we can use it uh, and access it in a lot of ways on rescues and various calls as well as uh, enforcement operations on the water. Um, with the cabin here you can come right out the side of the doors um, from both sides of the cabin. We can walk around right up to the forward part of the boat. Uh, as well if you look back here um, we've got a lot of deck space um, so that if we're pulling people out of the water and we have uh, we have to do first aid or, or what have you we we have a lot of space back here to work with that and do what we need to do um, back here both sides of the boat have removable dive doors so if there's people in the water or we're um, um, have divers being deployed from the boat we can easily access the water um, right here so we can run this boat with these doors out, keep them in, and like I just showed you there, we can very quickly get them out, and that way we're lower to the water to try and pull someone out of the water. Um, as well, in addition uh, to uh, um, what we have on our other boat, the Zodiac behind us, we've also got features on here, such as this uh, davit arm winch. So we have a, uh, a Stokes basket uh, that is Kind of like a stretcher that you can put in the water and we can use the winch to pull people up as well so there's lots of options for how to re recover people from the water in a rescue situation um, you'll see here we've got outboard engines on there there's triple uh, 300 horsepower Evinrun engines uh, and the reason for that power is our, our speed with response time i mentioned earlier we cover a very large area with the harbor and western lake ontario responding all the way from here to uh, 50 point or the borders of Grimsby. That's quite a distance to cover. Our uh, old boat that's been retired, it would have taken us from our base here to 50 point, it would have taken us about half an hour 
a good half hour to get to a call there. With this platform now, we can get there in less than half the time. We could be there in about 14 minutes. One of the features we specified with this boat is that it have the ability to go under the Burlington Ship Canal lift bridge without the bridge having to lift. So at normal water levels, the height clearance on this is such that we should be able to go under the bridge in an emergency if that bridge isn't able to lift. And I'll show you how we can do that. We can actually uh, lower this mast here relatively quickly. And now we've lowered our height clearance to under 10 feet. So now we're taking a look inside the cabin of the new interceptor. Um, the cabin offers us protection from the elements. Uh, prior to this boat, uh, when we were primarily using our Zodiac, uh, it's a great boat, but we are exposed to the elements. So this gives us cover from the sun, rain, wind, all the elements. Uh, in here we have uh, crew seating for four, and these seats are shock mitigating seats. So what that means is uh, when we're out on the uh, aggressive waves out on there in Western Lake Ontario, our bodies aren't absorbing the impact. These seats are gonna have some shock absorption to them to help protect us as the crew on the boat. Uh, in here, it's designed that it can be uh, fully functional doing our reports with our mobile data terminal here. As well, uh, we could set this up as a, an ad hoc incident command on the waters. So if we had a major incident on the water, we've got space here to work. We've got multiple radios, uh, police and marine radio. And then up here we've got uh, some advanced uh, navigational charts, radar and sonar technology as well. So here we've got our charts so we can plot courses, get our speed, water temperature, depth, all those nice pieces of information. And then we've got uh, a number of different types of sonar that will help us search if we were looking for, say there was a vehicle in the water, a person, other items, um, we would be able to do a search and get some readings of the seabed. It's not showing us anything right now because we're not moving. Um, but we have various types of sonar, uh, down vision, side scan, as well as radar technology for when we're doing searches on the boat. So this might not mean, mean much right now while we're sitting still, but it means a lot to us when we're doing searches out on the water. I love what I do here in the Marine unit uh, because it's a different side of policing. Um, we get to help people on a regular basis and there's a lot of education involved. Uh, so we're really trying to be proactive about educating people of uh, how they can make themselves safer on the water. Uh, and, and you do feel like you're making a difference in preventing incidents before they occur. Mm -hmm.